Fitting Kit A is suitable for many types of static wheelchair. Fitting Kit B is suitable for many types of folding wheelchair. For some wheelchairs, a combination of parts from both kits may prove to be favourable. The main parts in Fitting Kit A are the docking tube assembly, the docking clamp and connecting cam assembly, the two front bar clamp adjusters, and a set of spacers. The docking clamp assembly and connecting cam assembly are connected during the factory compatibility test. They need to be separated, so release the safety catch and operate the release catch. Attach the connecting cam assembly, 4 inch, 10 centimeter, from the end of the connecting tube of the power trike. and then tightening the connecting cam positioning screw. Attach the docking clamp assembly to the end of the docking tube. Select two suitable cross tubes under the wheelchair to which fitting kit A can be attached. Attach the rear bar clamps to the center of the rear cross tube on the wheelchair. leaving the four 8mm cap screws fairly loose. If the rear cross tube on the wheelchair is too narrow, use the spacers provided. Loosely fit the front bar clamp and adjuster to the center of the front cross tube on the wheelchair, leaving the four 8mm cap screws loose. The front bar clamp can be fitted with the Allen bolt heads up or down, whichever guarantees user comfort. If the front cross tube on the wheelchair is too narrow, use the spacers provided. The handlebars of the power trike have been released to fold flat for shipment. Restore the handlebars to the driving position. Ensure that they are securely locked in place with the quick release clamp. Ensure that the quick release clamp is pointing downward when tight. If you cannot tighten the quick release clamp sufficiently with its handle, use a piece of pipe to gain extra leverage. Ensure that the quick release clamp is pointing away from the user. If necessary, relocate the speedometer to make it easier to tighten the quick release clamp. Connect the power trike to the wheelchair. It is easier to connect the power trike without the battery pack fitted. To connect the power trike, position the connecting tube end in the docking tube and ease the two together. The docking clamp activates automatically with a clunk to show that it has correctly engaged. The docking clamp handle moves simultaneously with the sound. Ensure that the power trike is in the vertical position. In the event that it is not, Release the connecting cam positioning screw on the connecting tube of the power trike and rotate the power trike to the vertical position. 
Fully retighten the connecting cam positioning screw. Three grunts or 40 nm or 350 pounds per square inch. Slide a 2 inch 5 cm spacer, not supplied, under the front wheels of the wheelchair by adjusting the orientation of the front bar clamp and adjuster and tighten the four cap screws. Remove the power trike. Invert the wheelchair. Check that the docking tube is properly centered. and fully tighten the four cap screws on the rear bar clamps. Three grunts or 40 nm or 350 pounds per square inch. Fully tighten the four cap screws on the front bar clamp and adjuster. Three grunts or 40 nm or 350 pounds per square inch Fit and tighten the lock nuts and washers. Put the wheelchair back on its wheels. Reconnect the power trike and ensure that the docking clamp assembly is located in a suitable position so that the release catch is readily accessible to your left hand when seated in the wheelchair. Also, ensure that the release catch does not interfere with the effectiveness of the wheelchair braking system. In the event of conflict, release the docking clamp positioning screw and the connecting cam screw. Rotate the complete assembly to resolve the conflict. Ensure that the power trike is vertical. Fully tighten the docking clamp and connecting cam screws. At least 3 grunts or 40 nm or 350 pounds per square inch. Insert the battery pack into the battery carrier, ensuring that the battery pack locator screws are sliding easily in the battery carrier screw guides. Connect the battery lead to the battery socket. Insert the driving key into the power switch on the control box and set it to position 2, full power. Remove the driving key and insert it into the driving switch and switch on the power trike. The battery condition indicator should show red, amber and green lamps lit when the battery pack is fully charged. Recharge the battery pack as necessary. Check that both brakes are working properly and adjust as necessary.